you take too much, this will be the worst thing in the world. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I just wanna do a review today on these three legal stimulants that all do very different things and have very different effects. A lot of people will drink caffeine and not even really notice they're drinking caffeine. It's just in the drink. Some people will drink a little bit. Some people will kind of rely on it and have it every day. Um, and I just thought it was so interesting that pretty much the only legal stimulant that's widely available that people are going to use pretty much caffeine but there are several other stimulants that aren't caffeine that are going to give you different effects it's really nice to switch out the stimulants so that way that the caffeine's effect will appear stronger and you could also give your body a break from the caffeine and get kind of like a different kind of stimulus so you're not just hitting it with the same thing every day which is going to cause more problems if you use only caffeine every day i've reviewed two of these before this is kind of like an updated review for two of them and then one of them dynamine i have not reviewed reviewed yet. Let's jump into teacrine. Teacrine is a fantastic supplement. Teacrine and dynamine, pretty much I'm going to have only good things to say about it. They're really, really great. The only negative to teacrine and dynamine is the terrible taste. I've tried a lot of supplements and this is probably in the top three worst tasting supplements that I've ever tried in my life. Very bitter, overpowering, tastes terrible, but besides that, it's absolutely amazing. When you think about caffeine, you think of a lot of negatives, like people can get anxiety with caffeine. There's almost no anxiety with teacrine. Caffeine produces a tolerance, so the more you take it, the more you need. That's gone with this one. You don't really need to take this more and more to feel it. And then also the crash. There's almost no crash with teacrine. Teacrine, more than any of the other ones on this list, is is something to just kind of wake you up it's gonna work but you're not really gonna feel jacked and you're not gonna feel tired which is a lot of people want they say it usually takes about two hours to kick in lasts for about eight hours usually the dose on it's about 25 to 200 milligrams i gotta say when i first tried this i was only taking caffeine and teacrine when i would feel the come down from caffeine i would take this to kind of balance it out and at that time i needed a lot maybe 150 to 200 milligrams but now recently after taking it i don't really like to take more than 40 or 50 milligrams at one time with this one because it's very effective and especially when you stack it with other stimulants you don't really need too much of this i have taken a good amount of this while i had other stimulants and it was a little bit too much but on its own it's like i said you're not gonna have to worry about any anxiety any of that it's just really smooth it takes about two hours to kick in so if you want something right away this isn't the best option for you but if you want something that's gonna have your back and you're not gonna feel tired you're gonna still feel focused and have almost no negative side effects tea creams your guy i recommend it maybe in pills or just sucking it up and getting it down in a drink but this is again one of the worst tasting supplements i've ever tried also one last thing with tea cream is that it's supposed to be good for helping your liver function and it's supposed to be an anti-inflammatory caffeine is an anti-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory basically means kind of like it heals you and anytime you have a cut or your body's going through something it will become inflamed so this will help you pretty much with everything and it might even help you recover better dynamine technically its name is like in methyl liberine i got all these from bulkstimulants.com they seem to be pretty much the one of the best suppliers for affordable stimulants and they give you a good package do they put a lot of information on it and they give you a scooper i've bought um, stimulants before on ebay and things like that they don't give you that much detail they don't give you a scoop and it's you know these prices are very very on point you're not just paying double and triple the price because they label it good and they give you a scooper so i just want to say if you want to check these out i would check out bulk stimulants and i don't know how long they're going to last especially not at dmha but anyways let's get on to dynamine pretty much everything people say about dynamine is 100% spot on. Um, they say that dynamine hits really, really fast. Like as soon as you take it, the effects come on really fast, faster than caffeine. They say teacrine, the effects happen after caffeine. So this has an onset faster than caffeine. Teacrine is more after caffeine. You could take all three. So you're, you're constantly peaking in all three. That was suggested. What do I say about dynamine? Dynamine is very, very good, guys. I really recommend it. I tried this um, going to the gym a little bit later when I was going to go to sleep in about five hours. I took 100 milligrams of this. I felt really good and decided to take another 100 milligrams just because I felt absolutely great. Um, very clean energy, just like teacrine. How teacrine, you don't really get anxiety. You I didn't really get it with this one. It was just up, just a general up feeling and it wasn't overpowering or too long lasting. It's just a great addition. So, you know, maybe if you want 
to feel something right away along with other stimulants. You could toss this one in there. It's going to have its own unique feel. It's not going to have jitters. It's not going to have any of that. And if you want to take it by yourself, maybe you're going to the gym later on. You got like five hours before to sleep and you're like, oh, I don't want to drink a bang or I don't want anything super strong. And especially when you go sweat it out, five hours is kind of like perfect for me. That's why I found very similar to teacrine. They say they're structurally similar to teacrine. That terrible taste is very similar to this one. That's the only negative side effect is the, the taste. Besides that, these are like super supplements, especially when you consider people drinking caffeine to wake up. These are so much more balanced, so much more clean, so much less anxiety. The only problem is the taste. I actually like tea, cream, and dynamine stacked together. I don't even need that much caffeine. Um, sometimes I will do a little bit of each one, like a tiny little bit, or sometimes I'll do like stronger of two, or I'll just do one strong. So I do mix these up a lot, but I found that tea, cream, and dynamine was a great, great combo. Introducing caffeine will kind of give it more of like, a, I guess more strength and more additions, but I kind of like these two together because they don't really provide that anxiety effect. So you get like a double boost of energy while it being very, very clean. So I recommend 100 to 200 milligrams. I've taken 100 several times. It's very, it's a safe dosage. And I've, I've popped up to 200 milligrams. Maybe when I shouldn't have, I just liked it. And I had no adverse side effects, no anxiety, anything like that. These all come in 10 grams. Just wanna put that out there. Lots of servings, very good. Check out that Dynamine. This is the bad boy. The strongest one with the most responsibility on this list, DMHA. Now I actually did a video about this and people were like, oh, it's gonna be banned, it's gonna be this, it's gonna be that. They're still using this in a lot of pre-workouts, very strong pre-workouts. This supplement is still widely, widely used. It is pretty much the strongest single individual stimulant that I tried from buying online. Nine to 11 hour half-life, which basically means that it's gonna take about 10 hours for it to get half of this out of your system. You really wanna only wanna take this one in the morning. That's one of the negatives. I would actually like to create like a daytime mix of stimulants, but the thing with this one is I really wouldn't want to include it because I only want to take it in the morning. Whether with tea cream, I could take it around, you know, noon or one. Same with caffeine, you know, one, two, three. But DMHA is one that I don't even mess with like after 11 o'clock just because it lasts so long. I've taken a lot of this and had some adverse side effects, some anger, some anxiety, things like that. And I've been low dosing it for a long time and I've had pretty much zero negative side effects at all. And I would take maybe 150 to 200 milligrams even by itself. And this stuff was way too strong. I've actually taken this in pre-workouts and I just literally cannot take a pre-workout with this in it. It's really weird because I can handle stimulants, I can handle stuff, but I just feel so bad and angry and anxious with too much of this stuff. I really, really want to control when it's in my pre-workout, things like that. So that's why I take it in the morning. All that being said, it's really like a pretty great supplement if you use it in the right way. Again, I found that the best way to use this is not really every day and not really a high amount. With that nine to 11 hour half-life, if it so happens to make you a little bit anxious or a little bit agitated, I mean, it's going to last for a long time and it's going to last so long that you you're going to think that you're angry and you're agitated, but it's actually the DMHA. But that being said, this stuff is very, very good. Very good in low dose. Like I said, I usually will go maybe 30 to 50 milligrams, maybe up to a full scoop of 75. A lot of times in pre-workouts, they'll use 150 to 200 milligrams. That's way too much for me. This one's actually supposed to increase like oxygen into your muscles. Actually really, really good for athletic performance. And I've taken this stuff before and it'll feel like I'm more conditioned. Like I've been working out for a week or two, my muscles will feel just responsive and I'll, my body feels really light. So this is a great workout supplement, but it is very intense and I recommend definitely being careful with it. Recap, teacrine takes about two hours to kick in, lasts about eight hours. If you wanna just wake up, not really have to worry about a crash, anxiety, just have one kind of thing, just wake you up. You don't want to be super, super up. You just want to be woken up and that's it. I recommend teacrine. I would recommend your, your normal dose of caffeine with maybe about 30 milligrams of teacrine with your normal dose of caffeine and maybe sip on your caffeine. If you normally drink coffee and you have half a cup of coffee and some teacrine, you might be good. Definitely take these in a small dose. This is the, the most balanced one probably out of all these. Dynamine's just, you wanna feel good right away. You don't really wanna worry about anxiety. You don't really wanna worry about being up for more than five or six hours. This one I have the least experience with, but I've taken it probably about 10 times now on its own with other stuff. Very, very good. Something to mix up and it's not as potent milligram for milligram as the rest of these 
these dynamine i do like how it's uh, reflective as well and then dmha the super powerhouse be very very careful with this one if you have a lot to do in the morning yeah you'd be good with this one if you take too much this will be the worst thing in the world and if you take the right amount it will do wonders for you probably more than the rest will do and like i said when this, when this hits right i got my body feels lighter my Everything feels connected better. I feel like I could just do so much more work and things like that. So let me know if you try either one of these three, or if you like one, if you try like all three, is there one I should look into? There's actually um, another popular stimulant that these guys sell. I haven't tried it. It's got a weird name. I'll put it on screen. So I do want to try that as well. But anyways, guys, please let me know what you think of the video. Let me know what you think of alternative style stimulants. Have you tried, you know, any of the other ones from the past? Is there other new stimulants that you like? What is your favorite stimulant stack? Like I said, if I were to recommend these, I really like Teacrine and Dynamine. They're a very good combination. And then DMHA, like sometimes I'll take all these in a tiny, tiny dose as well. And it's kind of nice because it's so exotic of kind of like an energy feeling but anyways guys we're on the road of 25,000 subscribers and i couldn't do it without any of your help thank you guys so so much i'm having a great day out here hopefully you're having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace